Over the last 25 years, the world has been under attack by monsters. Through trading cards, video games, and anime, these monsters are everywhere. If you're a kid in the 90s, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If this is all Japanese to you, strap in, because today we're talking Pokemon vs. Digimon. Pokemon, or Pocket Monsters, and Digimon, Digital Monsters, are Japanese franchises that came to America in the mid-90s. Both camps are very adamant that their side is better than the other, so where do you fit into this debate? Let me know down in the comments. Pokemon started in 1996 with their video games Red and Green being out on Nintendo Game Boy. Digimon came out in 1997 as the male version of a Tamagotchi that you could raise and fight with other people. To the untrained eye, these might all just look like cute Japanese creatures, but both sides have their own individual way of doing things. A Pokemon is more of a pet or an animal that competes in a sports-like competition. Anyone can catch, raise, and battle Pokemon. Each creature is based into different types based on nature, water, fire, earth, electric, and they all have attacks based on those attributes. Lightning types have thunder attacks, water types have water attacks, beep boop bop. You get what I'm saying. There's not really a main villain in Pokemon, unless you really consider Team Rocket to be villains, but they're kind of just the, uh, let's call them anti-heroes of the show. Unfortunately, when a Pokemon dies, that's it. They are gone. Digimon are real creatures, but they're made from data. Whoever has the stronger level usually has the upper hand. The villains in Digimon are striving to take over not only the digital world, but the human world as well, so the stakes are just a little bit higher than your uh, Team Rocket shenanigans. When Digimon are destroyed, they turn back into Data, which turns back into a Digi-Egg, which eventually hatches back into a Digimon. It's the circle of life. Now, both sets of creatures have the abilities to get stronger. They evolve or digivolve. Pokemon evolve independently from humans through either age, experience, strength, or different kind of stones. For example, a Pikachu will evolve into a Raichu, but you have to use the Thunderstone. Seems like a lot of work. On the other hand, a Digivolution happens when the bond between partner and Digimon are really strong, or there's a really clear and present danger that they need to meet. Digimon require a certain amount of energy to digivolve to the next level. If they can't sustain that, then they revert back to a weaker form. For example, Agumon goes from Agumon to Greymon to Metal Greymon to War Greymon. These franchises are both really similar. They both share the idea that humans can have these super-powered companions. And through friendship and bonding with your partner, they both get to learn and grow and evolve. Although the stories are very different. Pokemon is the journey of Ash Ketchum. His goal is to catch them all. Which, I mean, when it starts out, there's only 151. Apparently there's over 2,000 or so Pokemon now. It's been a while since I've caught up. Ash and his friends journey across the region, collecting gym badges to eventually go up against the Elite Four, which are like the final level in becoming a Pokemon Master, and also catching them all. Digimon tells the story of the Digidestined, eight kids who are transported to a digital universe and partnered up with Digimon, who they become partners and friends with to save the world. Digimon gets a lot darker. They've got much more heavy, world-ending consequences, and the bad guys always seem to want to end up with a world in destruction, or multiple worlds. Me personally, I've always been a bigger Digimon fan than Pokemon fan. Pokemon never felt like it went anywhere. It was, ah yes, just collect them all, and everybody gets to have their own collection of dog and pony show animals that they can parade around and fight and hang out with, question mark? Digimon, to me, always felt a little bit more of a personal connection, always had deeper stories. The lore, as the stories continued, always seemed to really kind of pull me in. And it just seemed to be a little bit more exciting than collect, fight, evolve, collect, fight, evolve. Now, don't get me wrong, I do have a Pokemon tattoo. If you know Pokemon lore, Cubone wears the skull of its mother that passed away. Uh, I'm a dancer. I got that from my mom, so I figured that would be a fitting Pokemon tribute tattoo. Digimon, I think, has cooler toys. 
I love my Digivice. Uh, I built War Greymon and Metal Guru Ron figures, so that was a lot of fun. And to me, the multi layers of story that Digimon has been able to produce over the years has just been, for me, a little bit better than Pokemon. This has been another edition of Leo's Likes here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure you like and subscribe, and come on back for some more videos. Later.